Hey bro, what's going on Kranz here, so today I am going to be doing a WoW basic thumbnail tutorial. Was just going to be how to get a smooth character from my mod viewer. I have been requested this, how I get my character so smooth. And I'm going to show you the best way, or the way I do it. If it doesn't work for you, I don't know what else to do. This is the way I do it. And I haven't really experimented with other ways because it works for me. But, first thing you want to do is you want to obviously import your character or any other character you want to do. You can set up your gear if you want. I'm not going to go through it. I'm fine with this. I'm going to get rid of my cape. If your gear is not loading, it's either because you have the newest gear and Model Viewer does not support that yet, I don't believe, unless there has been an update, or you don't have Discovery Item on if you have previous season's gear. Uh, so turn that on, and it should fix that. Get rid of my weapon. I love that weapon. So cool. Then There we go. If you guys want the same gear but on a different tune, be sure to go to Save Equipment. Save it. I'm gonna say mine about the stuff I already because I already did this once, but I failed. So do that. If you guys uh, want to done anything else, what you have to do is you want to go over to the left side of your screen where it says file list. Uh, say you want it on a human female. I believe you can just type in human. That's a big mistake. I believe if you type in female human, it might pop up, or it could be the opposite way that you have to type it. It is, it's a human female. There she is right here. You can just put everything on her. Uh, if you want it on a gnome, do the same thing. The one I believe that is confusing is undead. And you have, for undead, you have to type in scourge. And then go to the top and scourge female and scourge male. And there you go. So, hit stop, zoom in. Whoa, okay. I just went uh, rated R right there. So let's zoom in a little bit. Then we can go to character, load equipment, load butts and stuff. There we go. So I'm actually going to just go full wrathful. So I just want to type in wrathful. I should probably type it right. Wrathful gladi. I can't type. Gladiator silk and silk gamis will pop up. Change that. Here we go. I'm going to keep the hands just because I can, so sue me. Then we can go to Spellcast Omni or Spellcast Directed or Spell spell Kneel if you really want. But I usually do Spellcasts. They look cooler. So we can go to Spellcast Directed. Eh, Wrathful Shoulders in her face, but I mean, she's undead. She can't really complain too much. She's like the coolest looking class in the game. But anyways, uh, I guess she's not really class. Coolest looking race. So. You know, you got your character set up, everything happy, you like the way it stands, you like the way everything looks, you got the, you know, you got your favorite hairstyle. So now what you want to do is you want to go to File, Save Size Screenshot, save it as a BMP, or that's what I save it as. Save it as, uh, I'm going to save mine as Tutorial, hit Enter, then lock your aspect, and for Canvas, which just choose a huge number. I'm going to do 10,000, because you want to have it big, so you can scale it down. Alright, so then after that, you do want to open it up for me, since I don't know where, really where I saved it. Here we go. Drag it in. Pop it up there. Get your magic wand tool out. Click on the green background. Make sure it selects everything. If it doesn't, you can select deeper into it by holding shift and clicking on where it hasn't selected. Or, sometimes you have to do both. Right click, similar, and that should select in here. It does very well. So now what you want to do, it looks like it messed up on the fingers. No, perfect. Okay, so now you want to right click on the green background, select inverse, hit V, that'll change your selection tool. Click inside the marquee selection, click and then drag to your other document. Drop it in there, it's gonna be gigantic. You can't keep it this big, I guess if you really want, but the quality won't be the best. Now you can just downscale it. Put it right here. You know, make it make it a little bit bigger if you really want to. Uh, you can add fire effects. I'm not gonna go too into detail. You know, you can add fire effects, stuff like that, into it. Like I said, uh, if your edges aren't smooth enough, you can get a very light blur brush tool and go around the edges and smooth them out if you really want to. What I personally like to do is get about half strength bl or blur and just blur her body or whoever's body it is just gives a little bit of depth makes you more focus on the head and then you know you can get some text 
text blah red text probably isn't the best for this one for this one I would use probably a bluish text with a good drop shadow but um, I'm not gonna go too into detail on that that's pretty much how I get smooth characters and you know what I'll go ahead and finish since it is a basic wow thumbnail tutorial so we can go ahead pick a blue I'll just pick it right from there get drop shadow get a thick spread go to distance push that up uh, change the size a little bit then go to outer glow change the blend mode to normal color to black then uh, you know has the nice nice drop shadow so you should be able to see it against most things but it's not thick and kind of uh, in your face like a stroke would be gives it a little bit more I don't know I like it more than a stroke personally uh, you can do other things you know you can get you can get patterns or textures and overlay it and make it look cooler I'm not going to go into detail you can also get you know backgrounds for this one since she is undead an undercity background would look very good you want to blur the background so she does kind of stand out a little bit move her over might not be the best gear but you can fix that just go to outer glow put an outer glow pick up the spread a little bit change the size change the blend mode to overlay change the opacity to a hundred go to drop shadow change the distance to zero if it's not already change the spread to whatever size to not too high then change the color to white or whatever color you want it to glow I'm gonna do white change it to overlay change the opacity to 100 and then if it still doesn't stand out enough for you you can duplicate that layer and it'll get thicker a lot brighter around uh, and that's just one pretty much a very easy way to get a basic wow thumbnail you can obviously go more into detail you can put another background behind it you can put fire behind it or or something you can get uh, some type of grunge textures and put over the text you can really get into this or you can keep it basic like this you know even if this is small the YouTube thumbnail you can see that okay that's an that's an undead mage and you can read the text so pretty much as basic as it gets if you don't want the outline that thick you can take away either the outer glow or the drop shadow or get the outer glow and make it even bigger and change the spread and then the drop shadow make that even bigger but change the opacity then it's still glow it's a little bit bigger of a glow not as thick around right around the outside but that's pretty much it guys hope this video helps you if it did be sure to drop a like if it didn't let me know what is wrong and I'll do my best to help you fix it uh, if you guys would have any more requests for WoW tutorials or just tutorials of Photoshop of any sort, let me know in the comments. I'll do my best to create them. Hopefully this one did help you. If it didn't, I'm sorry. This is the way I do it, and it works for me. But I'll see you guys later. Hope you guys have a great day. Thanks for 5,400 subs. You guys are awesome. So stay that way. I love you guys. Bye.